All right, one more video for today. So uh, this is about getting the most performance out of your computer based on Windows settings. So we're not talking about overclocking anything, uh, I'm not talking about making any actual upgrades. This is software only, and you should know if you're doing it on a laptop, assuming it allows you to, because some of them I've found don't, um, it will hurt your battery life. More performance equals less battery, that's it. Uh, better battery means you have to sacrifice some performance. That's it. There's no way around it. But I'm on a desktop here, and I want to get the most performance out of it all the time. I don't care about the 10 or 15 extra cents it costs per month. I just want the most raw performance I can get. Let's uh, get into how you can how you can slightly improve that anyways. So if you open up settings, which you can just come here, click on the little gear click on system, come down here to power and sleep. What you'll see off the bat, this is, by the way, Windows 10 version 20H2. Uh, you'll see it, it only gives screen time until it turns the screen off and then the amount of time until it goes to sleep. Um, which actually, I don't know why it's on three hours. One hour, eh, yeah, okay. Um, that doesn't give you much what you can do is click additional power settings and this will show you the sort of uh, the old power plan control panel um, with windows 10 they're migrating away from this control panel to this control panel and at the moment we've kind of got both sort of or half and half however you want to look at it what you would normally see right here though is usually your computer if you've never touched it before would be unbalanced if it's a laptop, it might be on Power Saver. Uh, these might be hidden, or some might be hidden. Usually, you've got Balanced or Power Saver here, and then High Performance would be here under Show Additional Plans. Uh, mine, though, you see is on Ultimate Performance, which you likely don't have on yours. Um, that's by design. That's something that Windows does not show you, but it's built in. Basically, what this does is it will allow your computer to use the most energy. Um, it doesn't care about battery life whatsoever. It will do things uh, in ultimate performance like not put devices to sleep, like your hard disks and your USB devices and your PCI Express devices. It will, um, it actually turns sleep and display settings to just off, where it won't turn your display off, it won't go to sleep. So I would change that because uh, if I'm not sitting here, I don't care about the performance generally. Um, but you can actually click Change Plan Settings, and then you see, again, it shows you just Display and Sleep, but if you click Advanced Power Settings, you can see all of those. So, uh, again, turn off hard disk after, and it's set to zero, which you can actually type in the word never uh, instead of a number here, and then it never turns the hard disk off. Um, but then there are other things too, like PCI Express link state power management, setting is off. It won't manage the power. It will give it maximum power all the time, and that's what I want for maximum performance, not for maximum power savings. If you want power savings, use the power saving power setting. That seems obvious. Other things you'll see here, like if you come into processor power management, so the maximum is 100%. Now when it's on power saver mode, I'm not sure what that is by default, it might be 80%. It literally will only use 80% of the speed of the processor in order to save battery and to save energy, which is fine for certain people, which is good for certain people. But if you're looking for the best performance that Windows can give, you would want that at 100. Accordingly, you would want the minimum to also be at 100. So it's always running the fastest that it possibly can. But all of these settings you can set automatically. And I'll show you how, uh, if we go back here, you would want to use this ultimate performance uh, setting here. And to get that, which you won't have normally, you can type in Windows 10 ultimate performance to find what I'm about to show you. And the first thing that shows up for me anyways is this How To Geek article from 2018. Yes, I'm late showing it to you. Too damn bad. So let's open that up. So we're going to skip all this crap because it's what I'm explaining to you and come down to this right here. This is what you need. <laughs> if I can click on it correctly, I'll get it. So 
You want to highlight this, right click, copy, open the start menu, type CMD. There's the command prompt. Now click run as administrator. I don't think it matters, but just do it anyways. If you're a local user who's not an administrator, then it might matter. Um, but I'm not even sure if it does for that because your power settings, I believe, are tied to your account. Uh, I'm not sure, but do run as administrator just to be safe. And then if you right click, just simply right click, it will paste that, right click. And then after you hit enter, uh, this, sorry, this power plan will appear. Now, if you have this screen open when you hit enter, it doesn't suddenly pop up. You have to close it. You might even need to close this and then reopen settings, system, power and sleep, additional power settings, and then it will be there. You don't normally have to restart, but try it if it doesn't work. I do have a crappy little laptop here that uses a, uh, an Atom processor, uh, an Intel Atom, and I think that might be why I have an issue. But with that one, I have not gotten ultimate performance to open up, even though I'm using the same Windows 10 64-bit 20H2 build. And I think the reason is uh, the Intel Atom chip architecture is physically different, different enough from normal Intel AMD uh, x86 that it's, it's not available for it. That's my only guess. I'm not totally positive. With that caveat mentioned, it might not show up on every laptop. However, I've got another laptop that is a Dell with a, uh, what is it? It's a Core i7-3740QM, uh, I think, and does show up on there. So it's not all laptops or anything. Uh, and I'm not sure which ones do not allow this to show up or if I'm doing something wrong. But 95% of the time, this ought to work. And it's really as simple as copying this, opening the command prompt, right click to paste it in, only paste it in once, uh, and hitting enter. And then when you do, which I'm not going to, uh, this here from this lovely website that did the work for us shows us what you're going to see. It'll say Power Scheme GUID, which GUID just stands for Global Unique Identifier, if I'm not mistaken and it copies that again. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's not a copy. So that's a different identifier. And then it will show ultimate performance there. All it's doing is putting in settings that you could put in manually, but it's doing it automatically for you and making sure you get the most performance. So if that's what you're looking for, that's how to do it. And it's just kind of a neat little trick that's sort of built into Windows, but is not like obvious. So um, yeah, hope that helps some people. Have a great night. I am done for today.